So this is a Chromebook and when you actually log into your Chrome browser it will come to here. It will look just like a regular laptop. Down here it's called the shelf where it would show pinned apps. Uh, so you have Chrome, Google Drive, and you'll see a few others. I have Maps and a few others here. You also have a box right here, but if you press it, it shows all the apps that you have installed on your Google uh, account. By pressing any one of these apps, it'll open it up, and it'll look like a Chrome browser because that's what it is. And that's how it works. You also have a search area, so you can actually search information either online by doing a Google search. Or you can search other information that is also in your. Oh, that's not right. Or you could actually search in your Google Drive because I searched the word lesson. It's going to open up the word lessons in here, and there are lesson plans I have in my Google Drive there. So that's pretty much it. You have your apps that show up here. You could search it, utilize in this area, be very efficient with it, or use any of the apps that are available. Uh, you could actually change what's pinned on your shelf. Okay, so you can actually change the position, left, bottom, right. Change your wallpaper if you'd like. So if you actually double, if you use your, if you right click on your background here, you could actually change your shelf position or set your wallpaper. Okay, you do not see me in the bottom right corner now in this part because I changed it so you can actually see what's happening down here in the bottom right corner. This little area will actually tell you who signed in, the battery, if you have wireless, I actually do, so that's great. Uh, you can ignore this icon that's letting you know that I'm screencasting. I have an extension that's working, that's using, that's why I see this icon here, and the time. If I actually click it, it will open up a menu that will show that it's my name, my email address. That's how we sign in at this district for our Google Apps. And a sign out button. So if I press that button, yes, it will sign me out. It won't turn it off. It will just sign, out the, out of, sign you out of your account on the Chromebook. This lets you know where to manage this Chromebook. This is the wireless I'm connected to in the district. Uh, this lets you know if Bluetooth is enabled or disabled. So that's that. And then I said I'm screencasting. This is actually the app or the extension I'm using, Screencastify. It's pretty awesome. So it's letting me know that I am screencasting. That's why you saw that little icon down here. Our volume uh, settings. This will actually open up a Chrome browser that will show you your Chrome settings. We don't need to talk about that now. Uh, the battery life. I got a decent amount of time left. 37% left on my battery. These things last a while. So that's really good about a Chromebook. And on the bottom, you just have your dates. If you need help, you can actually press the help button. Uh, shut down and lock. So if I press lock, all it means is if I walk away from my Chromebook, I don't want to leave it on. So if I lock it, it just locks it down it's for you to put your password in next time you come in. And pressing the shutdown button will physically shut down the Chromebook. But what's super nice about this is that when I turn it back on, it doesn't take a very long time to load up. It actually takes about a minute, maybe even less, to actually load up. So it's pretty nice. And that's it about a Chromebook. It's very simple. It's very easy to use.